Hi, everybody. This is Zhou Zhenxiu and Beautiful Life.、Uh, today, I invite the two friends from Hollywood. One is Julia Bry. Hello. I want to say hello to my audience. Hello, everybody. I'm glad to be here. This is、uh, Victor Miguel Gan. Miguel Gan. Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you for inviting me today. And you know, the, another thing,、uh, when I was a little kid, my uh, teacher. Uh,、mm -hmm. She、uh, wrote me a notice for memory in my album, and、um, she told me that keep it up. Honesty is the best policy. So no matter what, I never tried to show only good. I showed myself, and I always was honest and straightforward. People don't really like that, and I felt that on myself. I was punched a lot of times. I mean, by my life, not really like punch punch. I, I keep it up. I'm honest and straightforward. So I think this this thing also means a lot of people,、mm -hmm. you know. So no matter what you tell them, hey, this is bad, this is wrong, this is you're ugly, okay? <laughs> But you're honest. In this way, that person can grow up. If I tell my kids that you're perfect, yeah, outside of our studio, yes, I'll kill for them. Well, technically, okay. But in the studio, you have to be honest. And. You know, even on the show here, I'm honest with you. I'm not trying to play.、Uh -huh. Yeah, because the world in Hollywood is a lot of fakes, and people love those shiny fakes. People、mm -hmm. love Arnold Schwarzenegger or Stallone or whoever else. Like, yeah, Schwarzenegger or Stallone, they were like idols for me when I was a kid or teenager. Yeah,、mm -hmm. but then also me, I watch them in the movie. <laughs> yeah, but then when you start doing <clears throat> films, you start、mm -hmm. understanding what is this thing. And then you come here, you know more about people. I must say that my idol right now and my my、um, example for my life. Who is your idol right now? I、uh, it's for sure it's Roland Kickinger, my good friend. He's Roland. Super, yeah, Roland Kickinger. He's a、uh, A level、uh, movie star, and he's、uh, Mr. Universe.、Uh, he's a professional bodybuilder and actor. And why? He's a great man. He achieved a lot. He's on the same level with Stallone, with Schwarzenegger, with all those guys. But he has heart. He doesn't show off. He keeps it simple. He keeps himself humble. He teaches everybody to love nature, to take care of their bodies. Because if you eat junk, but yeah, you do makeup and you don't care about yourself, you won't make it till forty, fifty, or whatever. You know, he's very much about taking care of the world, about showing the nature. You know about the ocean or the Grand Canyon or you know Europe,、uh, whatever. So this is the、uh, ideal for me, and also Keanu Reeves, the same A-level movie star, very famous guy in the world, and he takes or subway or、um, uh, or a very simple car. He doesn't live posh life, you know. He's a very humble, real, you know. Man, so I am not idol for you, yes, Victor. I was talking about men. <laughs> you know. Have you been to China? I know Victor speak the Chinese. You've been to China. Have you been to China? Yes, I've been to China, and it was amazing. It was I, amazing. I was How long in, you stayed there? I stayed there for six months. That's more than six、me. months. Wow. Yes, I I I am in love in, with China. It's amazing country. Very nice people. Very kind, very generous, hard workers, very talented, and、uh, I've been first time. I've been to Guangzhou, then I traveled to Shanghai. Actually, I had a model、uh, business there. I was invited as a model, and I had a lot of work there. I think Chinese people liked me a lot, so、uh, I was very happy there. Good. So you like China? I like China, China, and I hope to go to China a lot. Back again. <laughs> okay. Here today is the Chinese TV. Yeah. <laughs> can't eat the China. Can't feel the Chinese. Ah,、uh, China. Okay. How about the Victor? Yeah, I I've been to China. I I, I was there. One time. For, yeah, just once. Uh, in two thousand seven, and I I was there even less than Julia. She was six months, so like two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, but、mm. I had a very intense uh period of time of trainings, and I also went there for business. So、uh, it was it was cool. I loved it. I didn't go to south. I was only uh north uh in Beijing, and then went to、uh, Tai'an and Tangzhou, Hebei. So I traveled to these places. That's all. But yeah, I loved it and. 
people love me and it was mm. very interesting. I love going to small cities. I don't like big cities because uh, everybody mm. is, is used you to are foreigners. Unique. You are a unique person. I you like a small city. Yeah, and before, like a village. Okay. And before, when I still was a high, um, a high school student, my dream was to give it up everything and go to China to a very small village, the poorest village I can find, and just teach English there. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I don't really... Well, we all care about money just as a you know, way of living because we need that to buy stuff to eat or you know, gas for the car, whatever. But if you go there, you, feel, you fulfill your, you know, your, what your soul wants to, and that's good enough. How do you... Give me the comments about Los Angeles. How do you feel that Los Angeles, Julia? Los Angeles for me is the city that uh, energy and atmosphere inspires creativity. And yes, here is a huge number of very talented people. Um, I think all people who achieved some goals in their countries when they feel some limits and they wanted to achieve more and uh, have a, a horizons, they moved to Los Angeles. And um, because of a big competition, it's put you work harder, harder. Every day routine should be very, uh, your day should be very painted because uh, first of all, a traffic and uh, you waste your time on a traffic. Uh, if you, you, you cannot waste your time doing stupid things. You need to be, if you want to achieve success in Hollywood, you need to all day thinking about what you want to do and you cannot uh, afford for you uh, spend, like go to another direction because you will be a loser. Concentrate all the day you need to think and put your energy uh, in it. And um, as I told you that a lot of people go back from United States because they uh, get disappointed because of the very tough business, Spe uh, especially music industry. It's not that easy to be in a music industry. Actually, the language uh, in Ukraine and Russian-speaking mm -hmm. world, we, we have another music industry. People like to listen specific music. Here in America, it's different. So for me, when I came here, I need to be observe what people like to listen in America. How oh, can okay. I make it? So this uh, one year, I was very patient and observative. I write the song, I record the song, I don't like it. The second day, you need to feel what it's, what will be a hit, uh, what not. And uh, a lot of, I, I show my music for a lot of uh, producers. They say, this can be, but you need to work on your accent. <laughs> Zolo 社区以及家庭的各类发达的订餐服务，近期将开展预订优惠的订餐活动，详情请咨询九零九三六七二八二九或来电洽谈。一二二零，Sales，Diamond it's important to have a good manager. It's important to have a good team. Uh, you cannot succeed being yourself. It's important to have team team and also uh, a good attorney, also a good manager, good uh, agent. Engine and manager, it's a different thing. You know, manager, what is the difference? Manager cares about your career. So, but yeah, it's also a lot of, not a lot of people here and you might get a wrong one. So it's important to have those, those people so they, 
Um, they help you to cultivate your, your talent. They, they look for jobs. They uh, save you in terms of you know, legal stuff and all, your, um, all of your activities and all of your creations because it's so easy to steal. You know, if you go to LA, a lot of places, they look like old, uh, almost crushing, closed buildings. Why? People close it and they create inside so nobody can see it. So that's why LA is much different. And um, team, team, team. That's the most important thing. Team oh, okay. and leave all your fears behind. Just go forward. For me, it's very, very difficult when I was... Um successful in in my country when i am successful in my country when i am famous and i have a huge fan fan base it's not that easy to come to U united states and start from the bottom start from the zero this uh, the main uh point why a lot of uh very talented people go back because no, it's, it's, you need to put your ego behind you and because nobody knows you here. Yeah. And how are you talented? Because America has also a lot of talents mm -hmm. and they speak native English. It's yeah. a lot of... Um, more easy for more them. More easy. But for us as a foreigners, we are fighters. We, we know how to do it uh -huh. and we are believing ourselves because uh. we were in a we were growing like very but it, <clears throat> from the 200 300 years everybody's a foreigner yeah every foreigner come to here to survive the challenge the struggling i mm. think it's uh, in america the uh, the strongest people because it's uh, you should have a lot of courage and to, to be a tough and confidence in yourself to make it, to leave all you know, to leave your comfort zone. And I love it. It's very hard, but I love it to put good. myself That's as a survivor. That's very good thinking. Yeah. So you have to from the very bottom, from step by step to, to be get as a success. Sometimes, so not easy. Sometimes you, you, because of your ego and your individuality, I cannot go there for this money. Mm -hmm. I am used to earn this money uh, mm -hmm. or to be um, to have a be better place than mm -hmm. I have now mm -hmm. now uh, but you need to change it and mm -hmm. this is the, the, the be humble and believe in yourself and if you and you, you need to think you, do you really want to do it if you really want to do it if you really want to be an actor you should go and practice and if you have an accent you, you need to practice yeah, <laughs> yeah. And Hollywood is also a little bit of a chaotic, you know, because a lot of people come here inspired by films. They think, oh, it's Hollywood, I'll come here, I'll be a big star. And yeah, there are a lot of people, it's a huge competition, but I want to say that there is not a, a lot of people who are really professional and talented. Mm -hmm. Makeup artists, any artists, even singers or martial artists, yeah, a lot of people claim that they are professional. You can go to Hollywood two-day workshop and you become a Wing Chun master, which you know it's not a, it's not it's not truth. Mm -hmm. But being an actor, you have to go and lie because you won't get a job. If somebody asks you an audition, can you do horse riding? If you say no, at least fifty percent you won't get the job. If you say yes, and then tomorrow you go to learn that stuff, but you, you can get the job. So it's all chaotic. It's all. Um, it's not the the it's not the way people imagine or even see it so you have to go and look through a lot of stuff so this, this way you'll see you'll see hollywood and um yeah and la is a, i think it's a perfect place and la with all those small cities like hollywood like downtown like uh, studio city i feel different energy in those cities so for an artist doesn't matter you're a singer you're an actor you're whoever you are it's important to choose your own place a lot of people go to West Hollywood because, oh, it's closer to auditions or whatever. Find your own place where you feel comfortable and you can relax. I fell on myself when I lived in Hollywood. I couldn't relax there. The energy was so much, um, I would say, not positive. Mm -hmm. I changed it. I changed the place. So it doesn't really matter where you live. It matters where you can calm down 
and your home is comfortable for you. So you can create, you can focus on your own thing, but not feel uncomfortable willing to, to, to go to Starbucks because it's more comfortable there than your home, you know? So this is important. Uh, people who you work is important. Um, like Julia said, a lot of people come and leave because they are disappointed. It's all Hollywood is, is film. People have image from film. So it's, it's a good thing to come here to try and to not be afraid of anything, even accent. Like Julia said, there are a lot of actors here. There are a lot of American actors here. They have good English. Okay, so what? They're all the same. We are different. We have advantage. We speak different languages. We have the accent. So if there are roles with maybe, um, I don't know, Ukrainian accent, mm -hmm. the Ukrainian person would, would get it better than American trying to make the accent. The same with the Chinese accent. Mm -hmm. You better have it. Then you're richer. You can offer more to the market. Mm -hmm. So the more you have, the better. When I was still back in Europe, I was working on my accents. I, uh, I tried to develop, uh, well, I did develop my British accent and then American. And then I, I always tried to brush up my, you know, uh, my language to, to get rid of uh, Ukrainian or Russian accent, whatever it was. And the teacher who told me, like, if you go to America and you go to Hollywood, you have that accent. It's like having a puppy while you're mm -hmm. walking on the beach. So ladies would pay attention to you because of that puppy. The same thing here. It's all my, you know, my luggage, what I have, what, what, I, can, what I can show. Mm -hmm. Because not everybody can do that. Not everybody can speak different languages. Not everybody can have the, the accent, which is natural. You don't have to, to fake it. You know, and it looks much better on camera. Camera will never uh, hide the fake. Fake will always be obvious. Whatever you do, martial arts, mm -hmm. accent, whatever. Fake, the audience will, will see that. Mm -hmm. And you will not be able to sell yourself in a good way uh, uh, ever after. Because it's business. You see what audience mm -hmm. wants. This is how films are created. It's not about, oh, I have an idea to make this film. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can sell it. Because if you made a good film, you're super beautiful. You have very good talent as an actor. You're perfect as a martial artist, but your film will not be sold. You it's not good. Okay. So uh, we uh, uh, continue to talk about that uh, beautiful life. I still want to see. Uh, when you have the Chinese food, you think you have the beautiful life, Julia? <laughs> yes. I know when you've been I there, China. When I have Chinese food, I, I think I am a happy person in my life because I love Chinese food. Love Chinese it's food. So have you been to Chinese uh, restaurant here? A lot. Mm -hmm. Victor invite me all the time after the okay the today I will be host to invite you to guys to Chinese you. food Can and Chinese a beautiful Chinese restaurant okay Thank you so much. and uh, Victor you like the Chinese food right yes I do uh, my first uh, wushu master he was a professional cook so I spent six years in a restaurant with him so yeah I'm kind of a really really not just fan but I learned it from from from, from inside you know, I believe when uh, you eat the food, uh, it's you put energy, and after you eat the food, you feel in some way. That because of Chinese people are so polite, so happy, so kind. When you eat this food, you became so good, <laughs> so uh, grateful, and you know, yeah, feel good. very have the good. Cookie? Have the cookie yes, something I there? You can it. read it there. Yes, and yes, I think that. it's you know, true. Sometimes it's true. Sometimes it really some... match what are you thinking? Yes, match what are you going to do tomorrow, right? Yes, I like it. Sometimes even sometimes I have to read it. Eh? The magic, like yesterday, I went to the restaurant. I read something. Oh, your new time coming. Your wonderful time coming. If you tomorrow you meet a new person, you wonderful. Oh, right. Tomorrow and I want to new, meet a new person. Yeah. That's it. And I wanna uh, mm. uh, sometime I uh, ask uh, Victor. Uh, I wanna learn Chinese uh, song. Oh. And I uh, wanna sing. Have it. you heard of it? I have heard a lot of Chinese song, but I wanna pick up some and uh, mm -hmm. perform. Yeah. Perform mm. Chinese. Perform Chinese. Chinese. Yeah. Okay. So I have this some um, part in the event that we're in invite you to people uh two guys to come to our party and we can be the you can show your talent yes, your sure. you you can sound english sound 
and a Chinese son. Yes. Also, he he can speak. He can teach her some Chinese. Okay. So, what do you guys think a beautiful life mean to you? What is the beautiful life? What do you think? Of, what does make you can have the beautiful life? Beautiful life is when you're healthy, when you're happy, when you wake up in the morning and you're not tired, but you want to continue doing what you're doing, and you wake up with a smile. That's why I believe I will also die happy with a smile on my face, but not having wrinkles of you know sadness. Good. How about you, Rudia? What's a your beautiful, beautiful life? My beautiful life is to be um, to be in harmony with the world, to be a part of very big chain, and um, to do what you should do in this world, and uh, to be honest with yourself. Not to be a prisoner of your life, but be a leader of your life, and uh, take all responsible for what you're doing, being conscious every minute you live, and uh, understand that everything is beautiful and all people are beautiful, and try to be happy, try to relax, not to not put money on your goal. But your satisfaction and love. Thank you. Thank, thank you for coming thank to Jojen Show. So thank you watching for Jojen Show and the Beautiful Life. This is HTTV six two point three. See you next time.